So today I want to talk about SEMrush keyword research for Google Ads. There's tons of keyword research you can do in SEMrush, but with Google Ads, there's a specific way to go about doing this because you're going to do some different things with the keywords that you won't really do if you're doing SEO keyword research, for instance. So let's jump into it. Um, when you're in SEMrush, if you don't have an account already, you'll need to sign up. There's a link below where you can get a free seven day trial. But once you're in your account, in the left hand side here under advertising, if you click on the keyword magic tool, this is going to open up a tool like this where you can then put in your main keyword. So in this case, we're going to do Houston auto detailing, click search, and then it's going to pull up a list of terms with a bunch of different information, including keyword difficulty. So you need quality content to focus on this keyword's intent. Um, <clears throat> it's going to give us some trends so we can actually see it looks like this has been increasing over time. The cost per click so we can see what it's going to cost us on Google Ads. The competition so it doesn't look like there's actually that much competition except for this auto detailing supplies looks like there's a lot of competition for that one um, and then the SERP features I find this really interesting so we can actually see what sort of stuff is on this page typically the less crowded a page is the more beneficial the ads are gonna be so that's helpful to see uh, we can see the results so how many search results appear and we can update all this stuff too but what I really like is if you notice up here, there's broad match, phrase match, match, and exact match. And when you're going after keywords, you tend to target them differently on Google Ads depending on how broad they are. So with something like auto detailing Houston, I would probably target that using phrase match targeting because that's going to give us all these variations auto detailing Houston Texas it would probably include in there Houston auto detailing best auto detailing Houston like basically any variation that has Houston auto detailing in it is probably going to trigger if we use this as a phrase match and then we can use this as a phrase match and then that'll trigger anything with auto detailing Houston Texas so there's going to be a bunch of variations for that uh, we probably wouldn't want to go broad match on these starting out. I typically don't use broad match starting out at all. Uh, so what we can do is flip over to phrase match over here. And then we can start picking these all up that we want to target. Like let's say we want to go after all these. Like these make total sense. This is probably a competitor so we don't want to target that one. So now we can click add to list. And let's say this is Houston auto detailing we'll create this list here boom now we've got our first set of keywords added <clears throat> and now we can track so you see where it says add here uh, you can see that these have been added so we know which ones have been added which again is just super helpful um, and then we can just sort of continue to dive into this uh, we can keep scrolling down, sort of see what variations there are. And then looking over here on the side, I'm seeing there's also some variations. It's recommending mobile. So maybe we do Houston mobile detailing as well and see what's going on there. So we can pull up Houston mobile detailing and boom, now there's a whole bunch. Oh, looks like we got one of those. <clears throat> this is what I love about this tool is I can see look we've already added this to our list Houston auto detailing so we've got that one so let's grab a couple of these and we're gonna grab these in phrase match as well Houston ex executive mobile detailing that's probably a competitor um, looks like there's just a couple more here with search traffic so let's add those to the list and now that those are added, let's say we're happy with that initial list and we are ready to rock and roll. Then we can simply come over here to the 
keyword manager. I'm just going to open this up in a new page. And <clears throat> from the keyword manager, we'll be able to actually view all of our lists. So we can pull up this list here. And now we've got this whole list. Uh, we can send it to uh, different tools so we can track the position. We can uh, use the PPC keyword tool. We can add these keywords to or add keywords to this tracker manually here. So let's say we want to just like we came up with a couple of ideas. We can throw those on here, click add here. And then finally, you can just export this as, a, as an Excel file CSV, grab that list and then add it to your Google Ads campaign when you're setting everything up. So it just makes it super easy. Come through, grab, you can see which ones you've already selected, which ones you haven't selected. We can even sort by keyword volume so we can see like, oh, actually mobile detailing looks like it's gonna be the top one here. And it doesn't look like the keyword difficulty is gonna be too crazy on any of these. The cost per click looks pretty good. Um, looks like we'll be able to get a handful of clicks you know, each month here. So this should be a decent start so we can at least start to see what's going on and then we can come back and do some further digging from there. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of you know, SEM rush keyword research for Google ads or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different, uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.